Hey guys, so I thought I would try something a little different. I'm going to do an Oscar nomination series. Basically, this is where I'm going to pick out my top five game picks for the month. Uh, as of right now, the Oscar series will only feature PS4 games. I did this because I feel like most people either A, have a PS4, or if it's available on the PS4, it is usually available on different platforms. So that's why I kind of chose to do uh, just games on the PS4. So do not get mad if there's a PC game you like and it's not on the list. Um, so yeah, this feature will only be about games on the PS4 and only games that I played during that specific month. So obviously in this case, uh, this Oscar nomination list will be on any of the PS4 games I've played in January. Uh, there is quite a few of them, so this list should definitely be interesting. Comment down below any of the games you thought should have been on the list, or comment any games you would like me to try for February. Number five, Let It Die. Uh, my husband and I spent so many hours on this free-to-play game. It's a very challenging and completely new concept. I really, really enjoyed it. Like, I've never played a game, I can't even think of like anything to even really compare it to. Um, it was definitely difficult at first. We died so many freaking times. Um, it is repetitive, and like after a while I could see like getting burnt out on it, but because it is consistently harder, uh, I definitely think it has some playability to it. So, you guys should definitely check it out. Like I said, free to play on PS4. Number four, Paragon. This game really surprised me. While this game is comparable to Smite's Defense Tower idea, that's pretty much where the similarities stop. Uh, the character selection is great and the skills are awesome. Uh, this is a free to play game and it definitely could be a great MOBA addition to your collection if that's what you're interested in. Number three, Unravel. This demo gameplay was absolutely beautiful. The Scandinavian backdrop, it really draws you in. Um, and although this is a 2D game, the puzzles were engaging, um, sometimes simple, uh, sometimes very complex. Um, it definitely makes you want to continue Yarny's journey. Um, like I said, this demo, it could have been so much longer and I would have still enjoyed it. Um, it is an absolutely gorgeous game and I definitely, I want to see what's going on. What does Yarny find? What does, he, what does he discover? So yeah, definitely check this game out. I think everyone knew this was going to be on the list. Number two, Resident Evil. Although I just played the demo and I haven't played the whole game, this game has some serious potential to be awesome. Uh, if you have been living under a rock, there's about 9,000 YouTube videos of the actual gameplay. Um, so you guys could definitely check out those videos. But Capcom, you have definitely redeemed yourself with this one. This game is so scary. I mean, I'm putting off buying it. I'm so scared. So yeah, you guys should definitely check out this game. You can buy it. Um, or you can just watch, like I said, the 9,000 YouTube videos and watch everybody else get the crap scared out of them. So definitely a horror game to watch out for. And the Oscar goes to, so you probably could have guessed it, number one, Overwatch. So this game is amazing. And once you actually start getting good at it, it gets even better. At first, totally sucks. And then I was able to finally make an awesome montage of D.Va. She is my go-to now. Um, I didn't play online multiplayer a lot, but I put so many hours into this game. And being available on so many platforms definitely makes it better. So, hope you guys enjoyed uh, my Oscar nominations for the month of January. Like I said, if you would like to see anything uh, in the month of February, comment down below, let me know. And hope you guys enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.